Hey, what is up guys, H Masters here today doing a quick video comparing the mini Batwing to the full size Batwing. Now, normally I wouldn't be making this sort of type of video comparing a mini set to a regular version because normally I would just include that in the mini uh, review. But surprisingly enough, the mini Batwing was actually released before this regular Batwing because the mini Batwing was a promotional item that you could get when the Batman movie first came out, and the full size Batman just came out. The, the Batwing just came out for the summer wave. Let's go ahead and take a look at the two and see how well of a job they've done here. So, right away, you can see a lot of similarities, especially when you just look at it. You can already tell what it's supposed to be despite the miniature form, and that's pretty good. You can see actually when you compare the two how close they are in shaping and such. When you look at the top, you can see a lot of the same details in there, going right down to the small little point from the back with that little bit of a handle. You can see the gun on the top, and you can even see those two. Uh, sort of vent things that they have in the light gray, which is just some really nice small details. The details also continue because you can tell that they actually managed to get the folding in on the mini version along as the big version, so both of them have the folding wings, which is nice. And the wings also have a lot of the similarities, both use those ridged pieces, which is kind of cool to see there. And they also both have the same sort of tips, except for on the regular bat wing, there's actually lights there. And the canopy section is also pretty accurate. They have the two light blue, or light gray, sorry, light gray studs to sort of resemble that sort of mechanical detailing they had on the side of the normal Batwing. And they also have just a lot of the overall shaping, despite that smaller size, that there's just a lot of similarities. And the back is probably one of the more uh, least accurate parts, but they do have the general look with the two sort of propulsions, but you know, they aren't able to get all of the colors and just all of the stuff there because, you know, it's so much smaller. And that is it for my brief look at the comparison of the full-size Batwing versus the mini Batwing. I'm actually pretty surprised on how well the smaller Batwing actually really got some of the details in there. Because you didn't, you know, we, we knew that it was accurate to it, of course, you know. We, we knew that it had the general look of it, even in the miniature form, but I didn't realize just how many things they actually were able to stick into that small little thing that really resembled this full size, just way overall bigger model. That's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, see you guys later.